What's going on E Nation fans? This is the Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another diecast review. And today I meant to like review this like Tuesday or whatever because I got this diecast. But I just been lazy. I just haven't like done it. So yeah. so I'm like, you know what? I just might as well do this. And this is going to be yet another Hot Wheels Indy Car diecast. And it's going to be on the Indy 500 Oval Hot Wheels 500. IndyCar diecast. Of course, this is from Walmart and all that. I also did get uh, get a NASCAR diecast from Walmart during my break from work on Tuesday, but I'm gonna give that to a uh, certain someone I know. So yeah, so this is so this is why I'm doing a review on this car, and yeah, very cool car, of course. Now let's open it and get it get it out of its box, shall we? Oh, hold on, let me get the box cutter. Well, after dropping my uh, phone off filming this while opening this and having a hard time opening this as usual, because I want to keep it out of this box, here it is! <laughs> Alright, so now that we got the car out of its box, let's do a review on this car, shall we? So what we have here is the Hot Wheels 500. You got like the checker flag stuff on where the numbers are usually are on the wing and the wing plate. I think that's what it's called. And you got 500 here. You got Hot Wheels logo. You got uh, HWGRFX on the wing plates for the front wing. Same side as the left. Um, literally not much really to review. It's just the main colors of the car of this is uh, blue and orange. And I gotta say, for another fantasy indie car diecast, it's a very cool car. And, and the thing I like about this is like the Hot Wheels 500 logo. It's like, oh, it's like some show car for like a sponsored uh, oval indie car race. That would be cool. Future idea for my stop motion races? Who knows? But. I think I've said this time and time again. I'm going to say it again. Hot Wheels still makes IndyCar diecast. They do. But it's just oh, it's just always these Indy 500 oval cars. Like, you guys still have the license of making IndyCar diecast. Why can't we have um, the real IndyCar licensed diecast that they used to do? You know, like, the, er the late 2000s, early 2010s, they made, like, Real IndyCar diecast, the ones I do stop motions with for IndyCar. Um, Greenlight is the only one that does this, yet here we are with Hot Wheels still making fantasy IndyCar diecast. Not everyone can get IndyCar diecast online or on track. Yeah, I can get it online on eBay for free shipping, but like, why can't we have IndyCar diecast, licensed IndyCar diecast on retail stores like Walmart, Target, whatever? I think for a series that's actually growing. I think we should have that. Like hell, we got we have an indie car video game coming up in 2023 from Motorsports Games. Uh, indie cars growing in popularity, which you love to see. Yet we still have these fantasy indie car diecasts. Like don't get me wrong, these are cool, but we want the real thing. We want, um, like real indie car. Uh, diecast. Like, what do I mean by that? You know, like drivers, sponsors, teams, all that. The ones that Greenwheel, uh, Greenlight does, and how we was used to do on a real riders. Yet here we are in twenty twenty one. We still have this, like sh these fantasy cars, on the IRO five bodies. Like, I think it's a perfect time to make, uh, to have real licensed. Um, Indy car die gas retail stores again. I think it'll sell well. Like if the uh, NASCAR Authentics can do well, like hell, we got NASCAR Authentics. Why can't we have something like that for Indy car die gas for retail stores? Hello, we're growing, yet we still have this. Like it would be awesome if we do. Like I I'm sorry, like this is like an off-topic video, or like I'm not on topic of the diecast, but like. <sighs> 
it's just kind of, it just bothers me that we have like fantasy IndyCar diecast still. Even Hot Wheels makes like these fantasy NASCAR Dodge uh, diecast, the six, the number six Mopar, like the the Gen Four kind of diecast fantasy ones. But at least there's like NASCAR diecast on retail stores. Yet we still have fantasy cars like this. Hell, we even have like sports car diecast based in real life, like the, like the Corvette CAR, the uh, Corvette C7R from like 2015 or whatnot. Even we have like some real life IMSA diecast. Hell, there's even like a GT3. Um, it's like a black, a blank pain uh, GT series diecast in Hot Wheels. Yet we still have this. Hell, we even have Formula E diecast. Like, some of them are licensed. Like, what are we doing, IndyCar? In Hot Wheels or whatever. Like, if you want IndyCar to be bigger, and you want more fans, hell, if you even want younger viewers to watch IndyCar that loves cars, uh, diecast toys or whatnot, here we go. Make licensed IndyCar diecast. That's all I gotta say. <sighs> like... I'm not mad. It's just frustrating that we still don't have IndyCar diecast in retail stores since, like, what? A decade? Almost a decade? What gives? <sighs> anyway, I'm going to go back to, like, I'm going to go back on topic before I continue to ramble and go all, like, have a, and before I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know. But anyway, this is a very cool car. Um, oh, I love how, like, mad it is. Oh, my God. This is, this feels nice. I like, I like the mat of this. It's a good, it's a good, a good die cast. And it fits well with the library as well. And I like that the IR05 spirits are still on. My all-time favorite IndyCar body. The IR05 still, go, still lives on. Even in 2021. I'd love to see it. Um, if I give it a rating of this car, mm, I don't know, like a rating or whatever, but like, all I can say is that's a good car, very cool diecast, fantasy paint scheme. I feel like, although like, here's the thing, I have I have like an interesting idea. If I knew how to make customs, I would get the I would make IR05 IndyCar custom diecast. If I knew how to do customs, that's something I would do. I think that's a great idea. Like Diecast Buffet, my uh, my good acquaintance Diecast Buffet makes uh, customs. Like even on CLTs, like imagine that. Like imagine someone making custom IndyCar diecast on the IRL5 bodies. I think it's amazing. So yeah, that's just a random thought and all that. I know I'm rambling, but like it's just I just. Like, IndyCar's growing again, so we just need real diecast back in retail stores, and yeah. So that's gonna do it for another video. I know this video was just filler because of my opinion, but I know you guys are agree. I know you guys can agree with me on that. So yeah, uh, that's gonna do it for another diecast review. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my, follow my social accounts. Uh, don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for more uh, content. Th thank you guys so much for supporting E Nation. This is Ian Press 48 signing off, and we're almost to 1900 on a road to 2K. So if you want to see more videos from yours truly, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Goodbye, everybody.